So Mizi Mlongo Mdawung took it to his Instagram to respond to fans saying he is trying so hard to act like everything is fine, yet he is going through the most. He did a three category in one video. Firstly, he shares why he chooses happiness even in his hardest times. Second, he talks about so-called friends who rejoice when he is in pain. And thirdly, he motivates those that are going through the most. So let's get right into the video. That I acknowledge that the smile is so important than the pain or the energy that I'm giving whatever that I'm going through. Um, uh, or the power that I'm giving, whatever that I'm going through. Because I, I'm always the type of person that looks at a problem or a challenge and say, challenge, if you think you are bigger than me, you've made a mistake. Because my God is bigger than you. Right. That's another one. And um, having said that, um, I've, I was having a chat with someone uh, that that is close to me uh, about what they are going through at the moment and I was just you no know, I felt the need to to be that person that that voice that encourages them listen is a ruler it's this this too shall pass nothing lasts forever so it's it, 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 it's it's funny how as human beings when we are happy it's, just, it's, it's not gonna last forever but uh, when we are sad we feel like it's going to last forever the same, it's, it applies the same thing it applies the same rule applies to your problems they won't last forever and uh, like they say um um tough tough times never last but tough people last so having spoken to this friend of mine that he will be fine blah blah blah, blah, blah i realized as well that there would be also other friends who would come to me and talk about what the other friend is going through but there's a difference when you come to me and you talk about what the other friend is going through in a way that is sympathetic and empathetic to what they are going through versus you coming and say hey no no. If you are the type of a person, hold your heart and say, I'm a witch. Because you are just as good as a witch. And I'm not innocent to that. I've been that person before. But I was blessed and lucky enough to realize that that is part of witchcraft. Part of Uktagat is when you rejoice over and on somebody else's downfall. That's evil. That is evil. That is demonic. If you do that, whether the person is sick, whether the person has got HIV, whether the person's marriage is crumbling, whether the person has lost the job, whether the person has lost their house, whether the person has lost their car, whether the person has lost their husband or their loved one or their child, whether the person has lost something and you find joy in that, you are evil. You and Satan wear the same uh, tags to that VIP of hell. You deserve it. And, and, guys, what does somebody else's downfall, how does it benefit you? What does it add that is valuable into your life? Do you laugh at somebody else's downfall and when you open your fridge, your fridge is full? Do you laugh at somebody else's Downfall when you check your bank balance, your bank balance is has quadrupled. What? Why? Do you know that by being empathetic and have having a good heart and, and feeling or, or understanding the pain that someone else is going through, you have just added a point or a dot of blessings into your life. You wonder why. Like, literally, why your things never come together? You wonder. Think about it. Think about it. You wonder why you are where you are right now. And that is behind 
you could have been further there. But the blessing says, I ain't blessing that nonsense that is going to shit over people's heads. I ain't blessing that moment. Or the, the universe says, I will bless them and I will deprive them of happiness, joy, and peace. Think about it. Now, let me talk to the people that are going through the most. Listen, my brother. Listen, my sister. We are all going through the most at some point in time of our lives. It's how we handle the going. It's how we handle what we are going through. And for, for, for me, you would have lost the battle if you believe the battle is bigger than you. You would have lost the battle if the, the, your, the concern around what you're going through is what Somiz is going to think about you. What Somiz is going to say about you. You have lost the battle. Stand. Stand. Look at the bigger picture. Look at, at the reason why you're going what, through what you're going through. Look at how the universe operates. The universe has to shake you. The universe has to grind you for you to be finer for your next level. When, when you lose a job, it's not a nice thing. But believe that you're being removed to be placed somewhere else. In the meantime, in the meantime, it's okay. It's okay. Deal with the emotions. Cry. Be angry. Be frustrated. Be in a turmoil. But Sometimes you can just stand still and let the noise just go and then focus again on what is my next step emotionally, physically, financially, and otherwise. Does it mean I'm going to lose this house? If it, that's the case, so be it. You are still alive. Being alive means there's another opportunity. I always say no, no in life is not denial is not a permanent uh, uh, it is just a delay no stands for next opportunity don't don't wonder and worry about the other person's opinion of your failures of 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 everything that you're going through instead be grateful of the little support or the big support that you have at the moment, of the roof that you have at the moment, of whatever that you have. You know, gratitude, guys. Gratitude makes things better. Makes things better. It doesn't heal things, but it makes things better. Look around and go, I'm breathing alone on my own. No machine. No, no coma. No somebody would do anything to be in your frustrated space right now because they can't breathe on their own gratitude don't ever lose sight of what you are made of who you are who you are is a human being of tenacious tenacity shame the devil that's where you shame the devil Go through what you're going through. Deal with it, but keep your eye on the prize. Imagine yourself conquering. I am here on this earth to shame the devil. Laugh all you want. Skin at all you want. There's one thing that I have that whoever is doing what you're doing to, to, to shine on my downfall or whatever, that's the one thing that that that's the one thing that I have that I know the devil will 